Hey you guys! Welcome to Vlogmas Day 31. We did it. We are at the end and I can't believe I'm still alive. Um, as you can tell by the title of this video today, we are making pup cakes. We're making doggy birthday cupcakes because Molly's birthday is this week. So I uh, found this recipe from Zoella Beauty. She actually made these exact cupcakes for Nala's first birthday. So what you're going to need is one cup of flour, a third of a cup of porridge oats, I'm looking at my phone because I don't actually know. <laughs> One teaspoon of baking soda. <laughs> One cup of shredded carrot. This was like hard to shred. Carrots are slippery. Everybody just saying. Use with caution. Uh, One third of a cup of peanut butter. One smushed banana. And thank you, William, for smushing it with great skill. One large egg which he also whisked for me because he's such a good friend. Yes, yes. <laughs> a quarter of a cup of vegetable oil. A quarter of a cup of honey. And you will need one teaspoon of vanilla extract, which may take you an hour to find in your mother's kitchen. Um, so once you have all those ingredients, we're going to toss them in the big KitchenAid mixer, and I'm literally just going to toss them in as I see fit. We have a dozen cupcakes, pretty much even. I never get them that even, wow. The recipe says to heat your preheat your oven to 170 degrees Celsius. We're in Canada, so it has to be in Fahrenheit. I did the conversion. Uh, it's 338 degrees in Fahrenheit, so our options were 335 and 340. So it says put them in for 15 minutes. I'm gonna put them in for 13, just because we're up two degrees and we're just gonna watch it like a hawk. So, here we go. Guys, so for the frosting, all you need is cream cheese. I have the Philadelphia low-fat kind, just because there are humans who are gonna be eating it. I think they'd appreciate the low-fat cream cheese. And peanut butter. Now, the recipe calls for two tubs. I think that's a lot of cream cheese. I'm gonna put in half a block with a lot of peanut butter and see how it goes. And then if we need more, I'll add more as we go. Drop it in. Probably should have cut that up a little bit. <laughs> Taking advantage of having a KitchenAid, actually. I'm gonna have to buy mom a new jar of peanut butter. Peanut butter. And jelly. No jelly, but can you imagine peanut butter and jelly cupcakes? That'd be fun. Be very, very messy, but yeah.
It's good. It's good. No, it's good. Sweet. Yeah. That's good though, because it is for dogs. Mm -hmm. Taste test passed by William. He wouldn't eat it all, I don't think, but it is designed to get a dog's attention and not a human's. So my eyeballing skills worked with one thing of cream cheese. I was right. Two was definitely too much. So once the cupcakes cool, I'm gonna hand pipe them and I will bring you back for that, I suppose. For decorating these bad boys, I have a piping bag. I'm waiting for the cupcakes to cool just a little bit more before I pipe on them, but I am gonna crack up the decorations. Like I said, these are mostly for small dogs, so I'm gonna crack a milk bone in half. I'm doing two of those, so that'll give us four cake toppers. Then I'm gonna do another couple of um, liver bites as well for decorations because liver bites are actually Lady and Lola's favorite. I might grab another milk bone and then we'll have three without any decorated decoration on top because I know people want to eat these too. So, yay! It's always easier to work with less icing in a bag than a lot. Um, it's easier to refill than it is to not. <laughs> Icing. So I'm just going to get rid of it because we have 12 cupcakes even though the recipe was supposed to make nine But I'm really happy with how they turned out. Um, Lola's at my feet. Do you want a little bit more icing sweet pea? Sit That's it. That's all you're getting um, That's your treat for the day. So don't ask for anything else So I'm just gonna get rid of this icing and then I'm gonna plate these up and I'm gonna give you guys the last little minute overview and I'm gonna give you an idea of I guess tips and tricks of how to make these really quick and really easy. So guys, these are the finished product. Um, just some quick tips as we go here. Make sure you crack your treats, obviously. I'm glad I did that because they fit beautifully on top. Um, less cream cheese is more, really, because I find if you want them to be extra peanut buttery like I did, that's why I tweaked it. Um, and the only other advice I have is be very careful when shredding the carrots because they're very slippery and they're hard to shred. And if you're lucky enough to have doggy helpers, don't let them lick the bowl until you're done because Lola's been at my feet ever since. Lady was pretty chill. She only came out to help. Mwah. Okay, guys, we are back with the birthday girl now that the cupcakes are made. And the end of this video is her taste testing. So she's going to eat a birthday cupcake. She's kind of been at them since I got here. So to close off Vlogmas, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the love and the support through the 31 days of videos. It's been crazy. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to be subscribed to my channel. And I will link my vlog channel down below because as of today, there will be no more vlogs on the beauty channel. <laughs> this is so not working. Um, so thanks for watching Vlogmas. And uh, Molly, do you want a cupcake? Come here. Let's tell our friends. If, come down. No, come down. You can't eat it on the couch. She can. She can? Yes, she can. Daddy says she can. Okay, wait. Give me your paw. Are you happy that it's your birthday? Yeah? Uh, friends, I think we have a winner already. Yeah? Do you want me to cut it up for you? So if you guys make these for your puppies, uh, tell me down below what type of dog you have and how old your baby is, and uh, let me know how the recipe works for you guys. And I'll see you all in 2017. Love you guys. Bye. Uh, oh, sorry. Shh. A big thank you to oh. everyone who helped me film. Do you want to come say goodbye to our friends? Come over. I'll pick you up. Um, okay, so she's getting jealous, everybody. Um, 
A big thank you to everyone who helped me film videos, mostly William and Michael. They did the best work. William was the best of everybody. Not gonna lie. Don't know what to do with that, bud. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed Vlogmas. Don't forget to be subscribed to my channel and expand that description box down below because as of today, there will be no more vlogs on Amanda and Lola NL. They will be moved to Amanda and Lola Vlogs. So make sure you subscribe to that second channel and I will see you all in 2017. Love you guys. Bye. Bye -bye. Oh no. <gasps> Do we know we're getting a treat? Does anybody want a treat? Taste test. Oh, Lola Cabola likes it. Would you like a licky lick? No. no. Do you want to lick it off my finger? You're weird. You don't like utensils. <laughs> wow. You are a good baking assistant, Cabola. Did you like that, Lace? Do you want a little bit more? We don't want to give you guys too much because we don't want to spoil our appetites. Good job. Great job. Oh, Lola needs a face cloth. <laughs> Baking with children, everybody. This looks sick. The dogs like the batter. That's good. Thanks for being mommy's helper, Cabola. Oh my god. This actually smells really good. It does smell good, buddy. Should I lick the spatula? Go for it. Do you want to lick? Nope. I'll try one, though. That's really nice. Oh my god, look at Falsam. Come on. Yeah. It's not terrible. No. No, it's actually not. It tastes cool. Everything's gone. Oh, cupcake has a nice hole in it. She hasn't even took a little bite. Mommy is so gonna kill us. It's her birthday. If we get it cleaned up before she gets home. I have a feeling Molly's gonna clean it up as she goes.